Hey guys, um, so today is Thursday, January 30th, 2014, and I had my I believe seven month follow up with my uh, nurse practitioner at my bariatric clinic and um, up at OHSU um, Hospital in Portland, um, and it was, it went good, it went good. I was a bit nervous about the whole thing, but it went really well. We, um, you know, I weighed in and, and, um, my nurse practitioner was actually really happy about my progress so far. And, um, you know, we talked about their expectations on what my goal weight would be. And they, um, well, she would like me to lose another 100 pounds, so um, her expectation goal of my, uh, for me is to be at, um, well, I guess a little bit less than 100 pounds, but to be at about, I think, 314, 315, something like that. So, I definitely know I can, you know, meet that goal and actually exceed it because, um, you know, uh, I haven't really thought a lot about this, but I'm so proud of me, of myself, because actually, since my highest weight, I have lost about 150 pounds, so, um, very proud of that, and, um, yeah, so, she, she is too, she's, she's really happy with my progress, and she said, just continue doing what you're doing, you know, push yourself, exercise, um, you know, and she wants me to eat five to six small meals throughout the day instead of, you know, just three meals, three larger meals. Or, you know, not that I can eat large meals or nothing, but, yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah. So, I, I was like, okay, cool. You know, I can do that. And, um, yeah, so I actually won't see her back until June. And that will be, I will be at my one year, um, post-op for my RNY, um, gastric bypass, which is really exciting. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, we did blood work today, so I will get to see what my A1C is. And, um, I have been, um, like pretty much off of my meds off of my pills and my insulin and everything um, for my diabetes since the day I got home from surgery so she's really really excited um, yeah so that went well and then I met with uh, um, the dietitian and you know and I just basically told her look I messed up like I messed up for a couple months there I was eating crap junk sugar whatever I wanted to and you know but it didn't matter what anyone told me like I had to learn for myself that that's not how I want to eat and um, so you know I info I let her know that I am no longer doing that I got rid of all the junk in the house I have a plan for how I want to eat and I don't go out to eat anymore I enjoy cooking at home and she's just super excited she's she's super happy for me and I said you know I told her I said you know I know that I shouldn't have been doing that but I'm glad that it happened and I'm glad that it happened at the beginning of my my journey from you know when I say journey I mean from uh, since I had surgery just for the simple fact that uh, you know I want to be able to sustain this once I reach my goal I want to be able to you know be able to stay around my goal and for the rest of my life like like 10 years down the road I don't want to gain my weight back you know I want to learn how to live a healthy lifestyle but enjoy it like not feel miserable you know I want to enjoy exercise which I do enjoy exercise right now but I want to enjoy life and not feel like I ha I'm always having to worry about if I'm gonna you know gain weight if I'm gonna gain all my weight back because that will not happen but anyway she's she's really happy about you know just me 
getting back on track and I'm really happy too because that's that's the most important is getting myself back on track and I know that it's up to me nobody else so I'm I'm doing that and um, I talked to her about you know the rice and pasta because I do not eat rice I do not eat pasta and it's not that like she said I can eat whatever I want like I mean you know you guys know what I mean like I have no restrictions now but I choose not to eat rice or pasta. It's just something that I choose not to. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, brown rice is good for you, whatever. But for me, I don't even know if I could. Like, I haven't actually ever had those since surgery, so I don't know. My nurse practitioner said a lot of people can't even handle that stuff. So I may not even be able to handle it. I don't know. But I'm not even going to go there. Um, but... Um, my dietitian did give me a um, a sample that she had of quinoa, quinoa, organic whole grain quinoa, quinoa. Um, and she said um, yeah, this is um, a serving. Let's see. A serving size is a oh a fourth of a cup dry. So anyway, um yeah. So she gave me this and I have never ever ever made quinoa before. So if any of you have any recipes or can tell me how to make it, please let me know. But she she gave me this so I could try. And so it looks very interesting. Um yeah, very interesting. She said that it's a lot like um that it's a lot like uh, like brown rice like kind of I don't know but anyway I want to try this and then um, I had also asked her about polenta um, because my friend Oregon Josie or Josie um, her her YouTube page is Oregon Josie she had actually um, talked about that and actually showed showed it and stuff so I did. I asked my dietitian if it was okay if I had polenta, and she said that it would be fine, that I could try it. She said you can buy it different ways, and you can buy it like in a tube, and um, that I could try it. She said that would be a great alternative to like pasta and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to try that. Um, when, next time I go grocery shopping, I think I will try it and see if I can find it, and um, I would love to try it. I know that um, Josie has, um, shown it and how she makes it. And then also, um, Amber Lynn showed, you know, that she actually ate it. And so I would love to try it. So, um, the one that, so th those appointments went good. I did blood work. So I don't know, obviously the results of those yet, but everything went really good. Better than I expected. I was scared and I didn't need to be. So, um, Yeah. So, my hope is by the time I go see them again, you know, that I've lost enough weight to, you know, satisfy them. I mean, not satisfy them. I mean, I just want to, you know, continue on this weight loss, which they, my, they really do believe that if, as long as I keep, you know, eating right and exercising, 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 that and walking and you know all that stuff that I will definitely be successful um and stuff so the last thing I want to talk about is um I know that lately I've been I have a really really hard time with my water it's just something it's hard unless I'm like exercising and really thirsty and it's ice cold water but other than that I have a hard time with my water so I was at Target today, and because um, I had actually a $10 gift card, and so um, I wanted to use that, plus, you know, I had to get a few things from Target, and I found these, and I thought these were really cool, I mean, they look really good, and I'm going to try them in my water, but this one, it is the Nest Tea brand, and it's liquid water enhancer, and this is iced tea with lemon. And it does say it's made from real tea leaves. It says lemon flavor and other natural flavors. So, 
this is um, zero everything. So Josie, if you're watching, here is another one. <laughs> it's zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero protein, zero everything. So, and there's 26 servings in here. So I got iced tea with lemon and I got half and half, half lemonade, half iced tea, which is my favorite. And this also has zero everything. And then the last one I got was iced tea with peach. And this too has zero everything. So very excited about trying these. I will definitely do a review on them when I, um, you know, try them and stuff. But like I said, sorry, I just got them today and, um, yeah, I'm really excited about trying them. I love, I love tea. I love iced tea and stuff. So, um, definitely, you know, anyone that's looking for ones that have no sodium, here you go, from Target. Um, I haven't seen those anywhere else. But, yeah, other than that, you know, um, things are going good and, um, I I'm feeling great. I mean, you know, um, things are going good. Oh, last thing, sorry, this, I swear this is the last thing, is that, um, thinking about, I mean, I love the color of my hair right now and stuff, so it's going to be really difficult, maybe once this kind of fades out some more, but, um, I'm thinking about going back to, like, black, or like a black with some dark purple streaks through it, um, or bla just black, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Should I stay uh, my colorful self? Should I go black? Back to black? What do you think? You know. Anyway, let me know what you think. And, um, yeah, leave any comments down in the, dis um, down, down below. And, um, yeah, um, you know, I hope you guys are having a great day. And don't forget to come see me on, um, the forum tomorrow, it will be a great time. That sounded really silly, didn't it? But I promise you, it will. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful um, night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.